We love to entertain, and entertaining often involves libations. I have several drinks that are classic drinks that I enjoy making at home, either just when I'm having a drink alone or when I'm entertaining. But when I go out, I really want to find something special, something that feels like a celebration and feels like an event. For the first episode in Seeking the Modern Hunter, I ventured out to find a place that would not only serve a great drink, but a great experience as well. What is a modern hunter? For me, it's someone who is creating their own experience. Someone with passion for what they do and an internal philosophy behind what they do. They are designing their own experience and often the experiences of others. My search for the modern hunter brings me to the architect in Raleigh, North Carolina. Housed in the old office of an early 20th century architect, this venue now spends its days as a bar. Inside, the original brick give this place a feeling of industrial significance that is popular among locals. But it's not the architect that I'm visiting today. It's what's hiding inside that makes my visit so special. Hidden behind a discreet bookshelf just off to the side of the stairs lies the crown jewel of the architect, the green light room. This modern speakeasy is a popular destination for locals and travelers in the know and seeking a special experience. But what makes this space so special is the bartender, Jeffrey Cunningham. You're a different kind of bartender, and that's one of the reasons that I like to bring people to you, because you ask about the person, about what they like, you kind of sometimes develop a drink right there, or you just, I don't know, you just have this open mind and you get creative about literally designing a drink. Well, you know, I try to capture the moment. When you come into the room, you're a guest in my house. We don't know what we want, so I have to t kind of be an extenuating circumstance that helping along the way, I guess, if that's the best way to put it. Spontaneous moments are like super glue to great memories. If the experience ended right at after you go through the bookcase, we would just be a novelty. You know, at the green light, we want to create an experience that is unique to itself. I remember the first time I came in, and um, we sat down, and and you you brought a menu, and uh, or, or or maybe we asked for a menu, uh -huh. and you said, "I'll bring you a menu. Here's a menu, but you could just tell me what you want." What got you started in this? I moved here from Austin, Texas, and I was in another business. I saw advertising. Uh, I just happened to fall into a bartending job the day I moved to Raleigh. I've always had a passion for cooking and like mixing things up, you know, like before I was ever really a bartender, I was trying to make like purees and like um, mixes, margarita mixes, things mm -hmm. like that. They were like fresh, you know, right. using fresh ingredients was always important to me. And then when I moved and came into the green light, I started as a, uh, just a cocktail. Uh, I, I was this waiter in a sense for cocktails on the Fridays and Saturdays and it kind of went from there. What was what was the very first drink that you made that you designed yourself that you said yep that works? I think it's the one we have on the menu here the honey roast cocktail. I remember wanting to make a cocktail for the fall like the holidays right. were approaching it was cold out and I was like you know what how can I do something to encapsulate all of these things about the season right now. I chose bourbon because bourbon was warming. You're out in the, the frigid cold, just drink some bourbon, you might warm up a little bit. Then I wanted to use rosemary because rosemary looked like a Christmas tree. It had a great aroma. And then uh, since it was kind of that wintry season, I wanted to use honey. Honey was soothing. When building a cocktail, you have to have some certain parameters. So I needed a citrus, so I chose lemon. I also wanted to kind of throw a wrench in the idea as well. As having all these qualities for the holiday and the fall, I wanted to do a drink that was served over ice. Just against the grain a little bit. It's, it was a hit, you know, people loved it and um, that was probably one of the first drinks when I really said, oh man, I'm, 
I think I've got a knack for this. We live in this world where we're capturing everything and actually rather than living it. What I get to do is help people live it in here. When they come in and, hey, let's, you don't know what you want. How are you feeling? You know, do you, are you in this mood? Do you want to go to the beach? Do you want to go there? I try to figure that out. It's like a consultative approach. Then I get to have fun because right. it's not everything is the same. If it was just a menu, we'd just be a run of the mill place. Nothing that means more to me is when someone comes back, it's a month, two months later, and they, re they relive that experience they had before not hoping to get that same experience, but they were just, when someone can tell me exactly what they had in a glass and describe it without having to look at a picture, then I know they truly liked it. I wanna make cocktail dreams come true and I want each guest to say, wow, that was the best thing I've ever had.